So I'm gonna be shooting a bench video today and I did a bunch of sets with 90 pounds. Um, six sets and the last one was seven reps while the first five were six reps. Um, it was mostly paused. So what I'm gonna do with this first uh, clip is show you my setup. So um, I've had a few people kind of ask me or make comments on my setup. I usually edit it out because it takes a while and it's kind of boring, I mean sort of. So what you're gonna see right there is me really just practicing my back bend um, in order to get a better arch. So my theory is that over time, if I do that crazy thing where I hold on to the bar and kind of back bend into it, I'm literally just like working on my arch just um, incrementally. So every time I go to set up for a set, uh, I'm, I'm helping myself push into an arch as much as possible by doing that back bend thing. And then, you know, over time, my arch will get better. And, you know, also maintaining the arch to the lift, that's a huge deal. That's going to help the arch uh, get better over time, too. But that initial thing that I do to kind of get my arch set up, I, I feel like that helps contribute to um, just my, my working into getting my back flexibility to a, a higher level. So um, most of these sets went pretty well today. This first one, though, I kind of paused it, like, at the top of the press as opposed to on my chest. I just, I don't know, I do that. Um, and I did it mostly because I was trying to speed up the eccentric and it just kind of threw me off. I don't know, I'm a dork. So eventually things get mostly better and I start to pause it a little bit better. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm not really gonna show any more of my setup with this video, but you can see that you, I really maintain my arch pretty well. My, uh, you know, my whole body is pretty much pretty s solid stationary as I go through um, the set. I'm actually happy with how my legs seem to be. If you watch my legs in particular during these sets, they seem to be at least um, to the point where they're supporting the lift, not just flopping around completely dead. I mean, I feel like I can see some tension run running through them. I've been really paying attention to placement more. I mean, you can see that the lift is affecting my legs. Um, if I tire, what I'd like to see happening more in the future is um, just those quads straining, um, you know, kind of force being built up through the heel and radiating up to um, getting this thing off my chest. So that uh, is a work in progress, but if you watch uh, videos from six or eight months ago, there's kind of a completely different whole set of um, movements happening through my body as I try to press and so it has evolved to the point where I'm happier with the stability of my body you know on the press now also uh, notice that I'm doing a really rather close grip here especially for somebody with wide uh, you know a long arm span and I'd like to change that in the future and that isn't something that I've done at this point I'm pretty weak off of my chest like my sticking point is um, getting this bar off my chest I lock out weights like nobody's business um, so you know taking a wider grip I'm gonna be weaker off my chest doing so so it's really gonna be have to have to be something I build up into and address my weak point so I'm definitely not gonna be doing any board pressing because I do not need it um, or even floor pressing uh, even though I'm, I had to do that for a while when I had my rib injury really acting up I need to just be basically working in this the reason I'm doing these like high volume you know, uh, piddly ass weights, sorry, I just swore, whatever, um, is to get myself just more experience um, and more work off of my chest. You know, there's just do the movement, there's no other way around it. Um, I'm actually happiest, I think, with this last set. You know, it looks a little slower, but and, and I was tiring, but I pushed out another rep. Um, I was really trying to hold the uh, rate of perceived exertion or RPE down for this session. So um, that last set was a little bit, you know, it, it went well. Anyway, I have a deadlift video coming up, so uh, I will look forward to posting that.